buy this one off me on reverb. One burden. Another one burden machine gun guitar. And we're gonna say another is because they also have these in camouflage, and this one is in uh, black, black finish. Made by Clint Burton, there you go. It's got a, got your whammy bar on there. Volume, tones, pickup selector switch. Strap buttons right there. Just the back of the guitar. Okay, and I'll plug it in here in just a second so you can hear it. I left the plastic on, as you can see on the pickups, just to keep it new. So I've got this to review, and and then uh, it's a cool guitar, cool looking guitar. All right. So if you're interested in this one, I'm gonna put I'm going to put this one for sale on Reverb.com on my Reverb page. Okay, so if you type in machine gun guitar, once you get to Reverb.com, you you'll find it. Or you can type in my name, Sandy Bones. And so I took this one out of the box and I uh, went ahead and uh, I set it up, made sure all, everything was snug on it, all the connections, and I straightened the neck out. I lowered the action on it quite a bit. I intonated it and did a general setup. Now it plays great, feels great, and looks really cool. What you think? Right, so here's where the amp plugs in at. We'll turn it on and see what we got here. First time I'm turning it on. So don't hold me for sloppy playing. Just hold me to proper setups and guitar tech stuff. System here, the whammy bar. It's not. It doesn't have a locking tuners. It's not a floating like a Floyd Rose or Kaler. Uh, you really can't probably dive on them too much like that, because um, they will go out of tune slightly. So if you got like a Strat or that style tremolo bar, they're basically made for just kind of going like just little little. Stretching your strings very well, a whole lot will help that too. The volume knobs and tone knobs are very smooth. So if you like it, buy this one off me on Reverb. See ya.